Hello and welcome to my new channel, Old Geezer in the Philippines. Now, uh, I'm not in the Philippines yet, but um, I'm going to do videos on how to prepare, you know, everything you need to do before you go and what stuff you should take with you. Um, I've been to the Philippines, but it's been a long time ago, almost 20 years ago. I used to be a, a medical volunteer and I'd go and help people. But, that's like I said, a long time ago. Now, uh, why I'm going, mostly I want to. That's pretty much it. But, there's, uh, you know, with the economy in the U.S. and the, uh, you know, there's only so many things I'm allowed to say. But, with the current administration, um, n nobody I know trusts them and I sure don't so there's no telling what they're gonna do and they're talking about this electronic currency that's a very scary thing because it's they tell you it's like it's like Bitcoin but it's not cause see this is programmable which means if you do and say things that the government doesn't like they can shut your money off instantly the president has said that all new cars are going to have to have kill switches in them so that they can shut off your transportation if you happen to say or do something they don't like. So anyway, that and a lot of other things. The economy is screwed. Uh, inflation, out, just forget it. Just ridiculous. So anyway, uh, some of the things that you need to know about before you go to the Philippines, where do you want to go? Uh, the Philippines has uh, a lot of problem with guns, with crime in certain areas. Now, uh, southern Mindanao is very dangerous. There are a lot of terrorists down there. And there's a lot of terrorists that kidnap people like me. And, uh, you know, so I'm not going there. Uh, Manila is 15 million people in one place. So, yeah, I'm not liking Manila. I don't like cities anywhere, America or any place else. Now, I have another channel, but it's filmed in Africa, and that's where my retirement home is and all that. Um, the reason I'm making a different channel is I'm not entirely sure that people, the same people, who are interested in knowing about Africa and traveling Africa and all that uh, are the same people that are going to be interested in hearing about, knowing about, and learning about the Philippines. What to do, where to go, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, Manila has a big crime problem. All major cities do, but um, especially in America where they've just decided to stop prosecuting criminals for some reason. Um, and now, in Manila, you know, most of the crime is in the slums, but anywhere that you show jewelry or cash or smartphone, you're putting yourself out there to be robbed. And most of the time, it's, there's no violence involved. They'll just steal it, but they, you know, it's still stolen, so there's that. Um, you know, you got to, you got to, be careful, take precautions, um, and a lot of times the hotel room have a safe, you know, but sometimes you'll be staying in Airbnb or something like that. Um, I'll be staying with friends because I know a lot of people in the Philippines. And uh, I'm on Social Security, and uh, so I'm going to be making it in the Philippines on my $1,200 a month. And anybody that tells you you can't make it on $1,200 a month is brain dead. Because you certainly can. Now, you can't in the United States. But, uh, like, you know, your insurance in the Philippines is, is cheap. It's like $10 a year for PhilHealth. Um, even if you get one of the better plans, it's still, you know, $10, $15 bucks a month. Here, it's $10, $15 bucks a day. You know, so, uh, and I don't have any serious medical problems. I got, uh, you know, some prostate issues and, and uh, sometimes I have a problem with asthma, things like that. 
but uh, nothing, you know, I don't have like cancer in my family or heart problems or any of that. I do get high blood pressure every now and then, but usually that's from too much salt and too much pop, so I can control that. But um, when you when you look at the big picture, um, things are just not looking good for the good old USA right now. Now I'm after the next election, if things, uh, yeah, there again, got to be careful what you say because. YouTube is run by liberals, so there are certain things they won't allow you to say. They'll shut you right down. So anyway, uh, hopefully in this next election, things will go our way and everything will be cool. But for now, I'm headed to the Philippines, and this channel and this guy is here to tell you all about everything you need to know and everything you need to do before you go. Uh, the, probably the most important thing is to have a set destination before you leave America. I mean, if you, I'm going to Bohol, but of course I'm going to land in Cebu. Uh, and then, you know, you got Cebu and then there's Mactan Island, which is where the airport actually is. And then you can take a, take a boat across over to Bohol. You can be there in an hour. So, um, there's there's so many beautiful places in the Philippines, and uh, so there's so many places to go. But the best thing to do is is either uh, start emailing, communicating with uh, with an expat, or if it's a Filipina, you know, um, don't send them any money and don't worry about you know thinking that that's the only woman in the world for you because as soon as you land there's going to be 20,000 more of them that's not an exaggeration there's going to be 20,000 more of them looking to hook up with you everywhere you go there's going to be women that want your contact information they're going to want your Facebook stuff they're going to want your phone number whatever everywhere you go so don't worry about it because there you are to them what a six foot tall well endowed doctor is in the US so yeah the the shoe is just on the other foot over there that's just how it is and it's the same thing in Africa I mean th there are people uh, that I know in Africa that ask me all the time you know, where where can I find a, a white husband? Where can I find a white husband? All the time. So, you know, and that's their only criteria. They just want you to be a decent guy. They don't care how much money you make. They don't care anything about anything. Are you a good person? They want to know if you're a Christian. They want to know if you're a decent guy. That's really all they care about. I mean, <laughs> I can get married. Ten minutes after the plane lands in, in t 25 different countries right now. Uh, and I'm short, fat, bald, old, ugly, and broke. So, <laughs> it's, it's whatever you, whatever America is, most third world countries are exactly opposite when it comes to women and how they think and how they act. I've had American women want to know all of my financial stuff on our first date man seriously like you know she's figuring out her divorce settlement and we're on our first date she's already planning on divorcing me and taking half of what I got now divorce is illegal in the Philippines divorce is illegal in a lot of places abortion is illegal in a lot of places so it, it's just different so there's that but uh, I think I'm going to end this one for now. But be sure to like and subscribe because I'll be making at least a thousand more videos. So hang on. Enjoy the ride. Thank you for your time.